All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining here. And thank you, Rob, for recording this. This is super, super handy. So my name is Brittany Joyner. I am obsessed with Trello, uh, to put it lightly. I've been using it for over a decade in various projects. Um, I work full time as head of developer relations at Pixie Bricks, but in all of my free time, I'm writing content about Trello, showing people how to use things. I have a YouTube channel, a newsletter. I even wrote a book on it. I'll be doing a book signing later today. Um, if you, and I've got a few copies I can sell if anybody wants that. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do a lightning round of a couple different topics right now about how to do different things in Trello. And my very first one, uh, I'm talking about handling emails in Trello. And so I'm going to bring up this board and uh, show you how I like to handle emails in Trello. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can, you can handle this, right? So I don't know if you knew this, but every board has an email to board function. And so if you go into a Trello board, you click these three dots over here, you see this email to board options. This is a specific URL that, or sorry, it's an email address that if you forward an email to that, it's gonna create a card on this board. So that's pretty handy, um, but that only goes kind of so far because it's going to put it in the board, but it's not going to let you interact with it. You're going to have to click to go back to it um, in Gmail and, and stuff. So I like to use a power up called SendBoard, and that basically lets me interact with my inbox in Trello. So very similar to how I'm able to, you know, have an email address that forwards content into Trello, um, SendBoard does the same thing. So I have like a inbox at, at Brit that lets me get content here into my Trello board and it creates a card for each of those emails. So you can see this is kind of my inbox. Everything comes in and goes through here. And let's say, you know, someone has asked me a question. Well, I can view those emails without having to go into Gmail and I can actually respond right from here. And I've got all of my things that I usually would have in Gmail where I'm, you know, adding images or whatever I want to do. I can even access saved replies if I have like templates and stuff, which is helpful to be like, hey, I answered your question. If you found this helpful, do you want to sign up for my newsletter or things like that? Um, the other cool thing you can do is tie this in with automation. And so what you could, you could set up rules that say, you know, when a card is comes into inbox, automatically send an email that says, got your request, I'll, I'll be on the lookout. Um, and of course, you can also do things like, uh, you know, incorporate project management into this. So if you have a checklist, you know, when something comes into inbox, you need to respond um, and then research or whatever. You can add those items and again, use Trello's automation and project management stuff to see where something's at and assign tickets, like people can join things. So this works really well if you have like a shared team inbox, whether it's like support or sales or, or whatever it is, and you can um, you can just come to your board and see what is assigned to you. So that is how I like to handle emails in Trello. Um, Sunboard, I'm actually wearing their stuff right now. Um, they've, they've decked me out for, for the conference. So um, they, yeah, so that's, uh, that's a great way. And they have a really generous free plan. There's different tiers of it, but honestly their free plan is pretty generous. And so you, you can do a lot with that. Um, so yeah, so any questions on emails for Trello?